Good morning, guys. Today is December 5th. It's on, it's a Monday. So, you know, I am working from home today. Um, and somebody stayed home from school today because she said that she wasn't feeling good and her stomach is hurting. But my job lets us do, um, like we work from home sometimes. Some days we work in the office. So, of course, that's always nice. But I just really would rather work from home all day, every day, just to be able to, you know, take the girls to school, pick them up from school, and be here when they get home. Um, I would just feel, you know, a lot better because sometimes, you know, they either walk to school and they walk home or they'll have like their friends, parents, you know, pick them up and bring them home or take them to school and things like that. So I would just rather, you know, be able to do that myself for my girls. So I really want to try to, my goal is to work from home um, completely all day, every day so that hopefully, you know, I can be able to take them to school and pick them up and, you know, do things that we need to, doctor's appointments and things like that, which I need to set appointments pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking a little break from work right now. I'm about to make some coffee and then get back to work. I'm actually pretty busy today, so I need to go and get back to work. Um, and then, yeah, I'll come and update you guys later when... I go pick up Gisela from school and I'm on my lunch break. I look kind of crazy right now because I've just been, you know, crazy busy with working. So, yeah, I need to get ready for the day, do my hair, and get myself looking decent. I will update you guys later. Look who always comes to bother me while I'm working. She's like, Mommy, give me some loving. Let me sit on your lap. I don't want you to work. Right, Luna? Yeah. Hey, guys. So, we're just sitting here working and just thinking because, you know, my mind is constantly going nonstop. But do you ever feel like um, you just gravitate towards something, towards an idea or just something you feel like you need to do or should do? I kind of feel like that with this YouTube journey that I'm starting. For some reason, I just feel like this is something that I should do, that I have to do, um, you know, something that I want to do. So hopefully, you know, this I, and I'm not sure how, I'm not sure why I feel that way. Maybe I'll learn in the future why I feel like, you know, I should do YouTube. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to come and talk to you guys for a second, you know, give you an update on just, you know, what's going on today. I'm still working, still have a lot of work to do. So yeah, just something that kind of came across my mind. Just wondering if, you know, anybody kind of had that same idea or same feeling and you kind of just went with it and you know comment down below how did it if you did go through with something that you felt like you had to do or you should have done how did that work out for you let me know hey guys so it's the next day um yesterday after work i ended up um when i clocked out i just laid down in bed i was so tired and i ended up falling asleep and then when I did wake up, it was already kind of late. So I got up and um, cooked some a quick dinner and then we ate and I took a shower and went to bed. I was so tired yesterday, but today I feel so much better. Um, I just got out the shower, I'm on my lunch break. I'm currently working from home this week. Next week, I'll be working in the office for three days for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I'll be home Monday and Friday. Um, and then after that, 
I won't be in the office for the rest of the year because then the following week I'll be working from home that whole week and then I took some time off at the end of December too just to kind of you know take a little vacation take a little break and spend some time with the girls after Christmas and things like that so yeah um so yeah I'm gonna do my hair I'm gonna put some of this um, leave-in conditioner in my hair and this is Gisela's favorite. This is why we have to go to Target today because she needs more, um, I think she needs more of that leave-in conditioner. And I know she needs a mousse, which we use um, the same brand of mousse as well. And she loves it. I love the smell of it. I really, really wish they had like a shampoo and a conditioner um, because I would definitely buy that and use that. And I think yesterday um, when I left off on the video, the last thing that I left off was talking about starting this YouTube journey and just if you ever, you know, have that feeling of, you know, like you just feel like you have to do something or you should do something. And that's how I feel about YouTube. For some reason, I just feel like I should just start this journey. Um, so yeah, I just feel like it's going to be kind of like therapeutic for me I don't know how I don't know why I think just you know talking and just getting things off of my chest and off of my mind is you know gonna kind of help me a little bit so yeah if you want to do something um, you know I encourage you to do it like I encourage encourage you to just be brave get out there and do it um, I you know my girl started their YouTube channels Monty came up with this idea of mommy you know you should do a youtube channel of just raising two girls and you know you're a hard-working mom so you should do a youtube channel about that so i figured you know what it's a good idea you know let me let me try it out see how this works and see where it goes i hope it works out if it doesn't at least i'm having fun doing it um i i don't this is just something that i like to do um so yeah i hope you guys are so far enjoying the um, couple videos that i posted and yeah so let me just finish up with my hair really quick all right so i'm done doing my hair i just put the mousse in there and that was it um before thanksgiving i went and like got my hair cut and stuff and i was supposed to get it blow dried so that i can straighten my hair because i really don't straighten my hair uh, very often maybe like once or twice a year and it's usually around this time when it's a little bit cooler although in florida this year it has not been very cool it's still been pretty hot but when i do straighten my hair it's usually around this time i usually get it cut and straighten it and i did not like the way that the girl did my hair um it was supposed to be like layers in the front like short layers to kind of like frame um my face and it just she just i guess she didn't understand she didn't do what i wanted so i wasn't happy with it eventually i'll probably go soon um and get my hair done again the way that i want it to i don't know when because it hasn't been cold to, cold here so it's probably not gonna last very long so maybe i will maybe i won't i'm not sure yet and then um this Friday, I have an appointment. Actually, me and Gisela have an appointment, um, an eye appointment to, I'm gonna get contacts and then she's gonna get some new glasses. I just had an appointment with Madi, I think last Friday. Um, she, she just got new glasses because her glasses broke and they were just terrible, so she couldn't wear them anymore. So I went to a place that you can get them done like same day. And then me and Gisela, we could wait, so I just waited for this Friday um, for our appointment. And I, I don't know, I think I've been wearing glasses now for like a, definitely a year. I don't know if it, if it was two years or not. I did have some contacts. Actually, I still have contacts, but I just can't see out of them very well anymore because my eyes are different. Um, I have different vision in my eyes. And so the contacts works good in one eye, but not the other. And so it was, I thought it was gonna be fine, but it's really been kind of annoying me, so I can't wear them. So I've definitely been wearing glasses for a year, which is crazy, because when I first found out that I needed glasses, I was in like 
middle school and I remember telling my dad like I can't see the board I think I need glasses and sure enough we went to the eye doctor I needed glasses and not too long after that I got contacts because I was just like I don't like glasses I don't want to wear glasses I don't like the way they look on me and so yeah he ended up getting me contacts and I've been wearing con contacts ever since up until about a year or two ago I've been buying contacts because I've just never been a glasses person but I actually kind of like the way that these look on me I guess just because the frame is clear and the frames are big so you can still kind of see my my face and when I do my makeup and things like that so yeah but I'm I'm kind of wanting to go back to doing um to you know wearing contacts and I'll probably switch off sometimes I'll have my contacts on sometimes I'll have my glasses on I guess it just depends on how I feel for the day and then of course always at night you have to take them off before you go to bed then I'll put my glasses on um, and then wake up in the morning and then if I want to wear my contacts of course I'll have to put them on again I always said I wish I could just wake up and just see and just have perfect vision because it just drives me crazy always having to deal with contacts or glasses and breaking glasses and uh, one time one of my dogs you know got a hold of my glasses and then, then contacts it's like you always have to go get them every year and it's just a lot and a lot of money on top of that so yeah I'm definitely gonna go get some contacts this Friday so I can't wait for that to start wearing my contacts again I think I might feel like my normal self again because I just I don't know I'm not a glasses person to wear them all the time and Gisela got glasses uh, contacts too like a couple years ago but she doesn't like them she's like nope they're not for me I feel like I look better with glasses on and yeah I'm just gonna stick with my glasses and I'm just like okay you know whatever you want to do so maybe one day we'll try with Maddie if she wants contacts too and yeah so we'll see but I'm about to leave here in a few minutes to go pick up Gisela and then yeah so I'll see you in the car Hey guys, I just picked up Gisela from school. Um, so how was your day at school today? <laughs> it was a bad day? Um, so I got something to tell you. Madi is going to get another new phone. Because the old phone that we traded in, um, she can't they said that i guess they can't accept that phone so they're gonna give us that phone back and then the new phone that she got um we're gonna trade that one in and then she's gonna get the iphone 14 plus yeah so yeah but we're not probably not gonna do that until friday when your dad has the day off so that um he can go you know to the store and do all the paperwork and all that stuff for the new phone. I'm back home picking up Maddie and I'm gonna tell her what I told Gisela earlier in the car. I wanna see how she reacts because you already seen Gisela's reaction. I don't like it. So, Maddie, should I tell her in a different way or just tell her, like, just tell her what it is? Just tell her. So, Maddie, you're getting another new phone. So, how do you feel about it? She don't care. What are you thinking? Hi. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because the, your old phone, you know how we traded them in to get the new phones? Well, they said that they can't use your old phone. So they said you can trade in the new phone that you got, and your, the phone that you're going to get is going to be bigger than that phone. It's the same phone, it's just going to be bigger. When are we getting it? Probably on Friday. So she can get a different color? Yeah. What if they have whatever color they have in stock. Or do you want the same color? But the lady said that they have it in stock, so maybe Wait, they have every it, color in stock. All of them no, just you. What? Because crack? we traded in we all traded in our phone. So our no, it's not because it was cracked. It was because the iPhone that you had was an older iPhone. And so since it's an older one, they I guess they don't accept that phone for trade-ins. So they're going to get that old phone back, and then you're going to get a new phone. Which, like I said, it's the same phone you already have now. It's just going to be bigger. Okay. Are you going to get the same color? I don't know. I don't know what color they have. 
same colors. You know what the, the, the colors blue, are. Same color? red, black. I forgot what else. Yeah, I'm gonna get the same color as black. Okay. And now what? What we else? have to get you a new case. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, because it's not gonna fit your phone anymore. You want the same case? You can't use that case if your phone's gonna be bigger. No, it's like this. He's talking about like the same like style. Oh, the same style. So I bought you some cases for Christmas, and now you're not gonna be able to use them. Oh, but I can. Yeah, but one of them has an M on it. Oh. So I'm gonna have to return it. I mean, they were inexpensive. I bought them from Shein, so they're like. I get to have the other ones. They're like a dollar, two dollars. So I would have to return all of them. So I'm gonna either have to return them. I'm gonna have to return the one with the M because Gisela can't use that one. Um, and then the other ones she can have if you want them, or I'll just return them. I don't like them. I don't like them. Well, you know, you remember one of the ones that I got? No, I don't. Yes, you do. This past weekend, remember? I was showing you some stuff. Oh. Wait, so you can show me some of the love stuff? Yeah, but you can't tell her what it is. Well, she already knows the she and stuff because she picked that stuff out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Well, I can say it now, the color. It was supposed to match your, your AirPod case. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, well, I don't know if I want them. That's what I'm saying, so I might have to return them. If I, if I like it. Or you could just keep it as a backup in case yours breaks or something. Yeah. And then just so you can have a case until you get another one. I don't like those. Because like I said, they're like a dollar or two dollars, two fifty. Anyways, I scratched my screen protector, so... And yeah, and she's gonna give you another screen protector for free. And so. and I dropped my filter. But no, I didn't crack it enough for you. That phone case is really good. Get your phone cases off of Amazon, not sponsored. <laughs> so okay. yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the reality of raising two girls. Um, anyways, I have to go get back to doing some stuff. And then I'm going to start dinner. And we're gonna go to Target. And later tonight we are gonna to go to Target. So we'll see you later on, maybe when I start cooking or when we go to Target. And I'm gonna go eat some chips, Bye. Look at these girls already asking me for stuff we did not come here for. Look at this, look at this, look, look. She wants that. The other one wants a Christmas tree in her room. Asking oh, me for stuff Christmas already. Tree. Look, 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 see? Mommy, we opened our own houses. That's cute. Already asking for stuff we didn't come for. What can I get them? Look at this. Candy, 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 and candy. I eat this in water. I would eat this in water. Why? Why are you getting that, Gisela? Mommy, don't do this to me. Why? Don't do this to me. Cause why, Mari? Your boyfriend. Don't do this to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he wants to do this with your boyfriend. That's embarrassing. Well, you're gonna do that. You're gonna you're take gonna it to. Edit that out. Are you gonna take it to school and do that? Maybe. No, you're not. You're really gonna do that. Mari. I don't know, but is this like what it actually looks like? Yes. Well, I really oh. want these. Oh, but but he might not know what it is. Mommy. Oh yeah. <laughs> it says, it, it, says it, it right here. Yeah, but still, he's Mommy. gonna look at that and be like, "What the heck is that?" Mommy, yeah. she's gonna think it's a tiny bush. Should I do it Mommy. tomorrow? Mommy, mm. but I want these. I've been looking for these everywhere, and I couldn't find them. And then I got something coming. Madi, I said one thing. Oh, see, this is what you deal with when you have two and teenage I'm daughters. I'm getting this, and I'm getting. This is, it was my idea to come just so I could get this Mommy, stuff. I just want to. But, but we're getting snacks and this. Yeah, and I'm proud of myself because I'm not a bush. Because <laughs> I'm not getting anything. And I don't have anything in the cart for me. You freaking liar. What is this? <laughs> Mommy, What's I, sad? Can I get this then? Mommy, can I get this What's then? What's that? Mm -hmm. That movie. Mommy, can I get this? These two things? Where the crawdads sing. Fine, that's it, Mari. And then with the Twizzlers, I'm gonna get gum. For school tomorrow. Excuse you. <laughs> We're here because of all your hair stuff that you needed. You're just adding extra stuff. This is all I got. Mari, Mari got this is it. This is it. Some mascara. Yeah, you always Five dollars. You always gotta get something. You always gotta get something. No, I do not. Look at this. 
Tell these girls, oh, let's go, and look what they're asking look, for now. Look, look how pretty it looks. It will protect me, mommy. You want me to be protected, right? Let me see. Why, why is it going to protect you? Let me see it closer. Clarky butt. Oh, my gosh. Oh, lady. It is. <laughs> Or should I get a clear glittery one? No, the clear ones get dirty. I should get I mean, look. This is cute. Oh, that is cute. so pretty. Let me see. Oh, that one is pretty. I like both of these. And feel it. Feel it. That will go with my phone, too. Look, it goes with my phone. Oh, yeah, it does. I want it. You want it? Okay, for Christmas. They're gonna be gone. <gasps> you see that? It's a or gummy how about bear. I get one? How oh, that's about, cute. How about I get one now and you get me one for Christmas? Because I want this one too. But I want this one today. Okay, guys, we're gonna try these the white chocolate sugar cookie Ghir Ghirardelli squares. We're gonna try these. Let's They're see. Good. Let's see. Maddie already tried it, but I'm gonna try it. We should tell you how to come try it too. Mm. You set up. What? Come here. Come here. I have to get too close to the camera. Look at me a mirror. Mommy. Mommy. What? Remember that first time I stole your mascara at your workplace and you said I'd do it better than you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. The little mirror. The mine, the one that I gave you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's good. But I think I can only eat one. It is really, really sweet. Yeah, because I don't want to have to get too close up to the mirror. But on! Okay. To the camera, yeah. You know what I meant. I can't even see you. What? Do it. You can't see it? He can't see me. Mommy, go. You can't even see. Hold on, I'll show afterwards. Mm -hmm. You're doing that. Can I have a bite? No. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite mascara. Let me do it. Ooh, no, no. Ooh I'm, I'm using it tomorrow. I want to tell them if it tastes I'm, good or not. What are you trying? You probably have it? Yeah. You've tried those before. No, but I haven't tried this before. Oh, it tastes different? <laughs> No, mommy. I just want to try the store. It tastes like lemon. Ew. It's lemon flavor. It tastes good. Okay, I think this is my favorite mascara. Oh my god, I'm stealing that. Can you tell? Oh my goodness. This is my favorite mascara because every time I buy a mascara, I either buy one that's um, like it separates your eyelashes too much and doesn't make them look full, or it makes it look too full and too clumpy, and I don't like that. This one, I'm not kidding is the most perfect mascara and it was only five dollars at target so if you wear mascara you should go get it not sponsored try it and okay so there was this one i'm not trying because i already have mascara on 
There was this one, the blue one, and I think the difference, and there was a green one. I think the difference. Is that waterproof? Yes. I don't like waterproof. So I it's think hardy. I think that's the difference, though. I think this the blue one was waterproof, and the green one was not waterproof. And I always like the waterproof. Well, one. now it's I'm gonna get one, but for now I'm gonna steal this one. You can steal in the morning, but you better put it back. You can get it back. No, <laughs> you better bring it back. No, for real though, like. Only five dollars. Really like yes, and really. you and you went to Ulta and got one. I have bought it, so many mascaras from Ulta. From did I have ever bought one from Sephora? I don't even know. I don't know either, but I know for sure I bought a few from Ulta, and I just did not like them. This is the best, my favorite one now, and it's not like too dry. It's not too runny. It's it's perfect. So yeah, that's my honest review on this mascara. Layers. Give me a body. Let me take a body this and I'll lay on it like this. It was good. So I'm gonna try to end each video with just positive vibes, positive words. Um, so I I don't even know what to end it with today. Maybe I'll just say um, always go shopping. <laughs> Maybe I'll just say be kind to others because you never know. You never know what they're going through behind closed doors. You don't know if they're suffering with anxiety, with depression. You just never know. So just be kind to others. Let's spread good vibes, spread positivity. And yeah, that that that's gonna be my positive um words for tonight so next vlog will be something else if you have any ideas let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video with these crazy girls um so yeah support your girl and like share and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time hope everybody has a good night